died suddenly soon after midnight. Agadir, a fair city, became in seconds a total ruin. It was as though, said one observer, it had been trodden on by an inconceivably gigantic foot. Towards midnight, an unnatural stillness was shattered by a rending crash. The hard earth split into great fissures. Where now they searched for bodies, large buildings crumbled, subsided into dusty heaps. Devastation on a ghastly scale was wrought in less than half a minute. As these films were made, more than 2,000 bodies had been dug out. Perhaps 3,000 are still buried there. And there they may remain, for Agadir is to be sealed off in precaution against the risk of plague. Tourists who survive tell of the early terror, giving place to horror when it was realized what had happened. They say dogs howled for hours in that nerve-wracking early morning before it was light. And this was Agadir when it had been all but obliterated by the hand of nature. For the care of the injured, many of them toddlers who now have no parents, France, America and Britain have rushed aid. Neighbouring countries are still stunned, contemplating one of the biggest natural disasters in modern times. <laughs>